Today, uh, I'm going to talk about the use of drama in the language teaching classroom, and uh, in particular about some of the interesting cultural and uh, pedagogical, pedagogical <laughs> aspects of it. And the, the first, I will uh, introduce the background of uh, my use of drama uh, in the classroom, and then I will uh, describe uh, the value of drama and uh, suggest uh, why it works uh, and uh, why it's so effective for, for the language learning. And then, um, to the main part of this presentation, um, I will, which is, I will show you some uh, videos, and then, um, which is not illustrate the, the process, but also the outcomes, and uh, and also themselves, or is very valuable documentation. And then I will show you some uh, steps in uh, developing uh, a drama uh, before conclusion. So firstly, about my history of my using drama teaching. Um, before I start to teach Japanese at Fuzhou University uh, in Taiwan, I had trained to be a Japanese teacher in Japan, both for native Japanese and uh, for learners. And, but uh, despite my training, I felt I wasn't be able to make the classroom interesting and also for exercise enjoyable for an, enough for students. And then, when I was asked to create and run a, a class training postgraduate students to be Japanese teacher, I started thinking more deeply about challenging of how to teach and uh, show and uh, how to make the learning more enjoyable. So when I started to teach at uh, Tsukuba University in uh, 2000, I started to involve my own teaching style, which is uh, in the, uh, after further development, I called a performance approach. I thought about various issues, such as uh, how to get learners have a different kind of conversation from what they have learned, and then and uh, how to make the learning learners feel what they have really re achieved something. So in 2001, I started to use drama. I asked the students to use their uh, basic language to create their uh, piece of theater, and then perform it in the classroom. And uh, the result is they, let, um, they not only enjoyed it, and uh, they learned a lot, and it grows from there. The following year, the drama creation process was uh, further developed, and uh, the number of the learners increased, mainly because uh, students heard how effective and fun the class were. So we borrowed the university hall and uh, start to videoing and the performances as a record. In turn, all these activities added to the theatrical of the uh, process, which also means to enhance the learners' motivation and the learning outcomes. Since this was a new style of the, uh, learning, at least for the students in Japan, I made a point of regularly asking learners for feedback about how much they learned and uh, how they feel and uh, how they enjoyed the classes and uh, what they feel difficult. So when I was asked to teach uh, the Hokkien course at the Tokyo University of Hoenn Studies, I applied a similar method. And then later also for sources for gain MA course. <laughs> this raised new issues because Hokkien, uh, unlike Japanese and Chinese, is a, a, a less commonly taught language. And uh, I explored uh, even few further uh, this direction when I was involved in a uh, summer school for Kalayu an endangered language, which I will discuss with her. 
I brought drama into the classroom because the textbook have limited value for learning everyday conversation. My aim was simply to give uh, learners a chance to learn what they like to learn and uh, to see the students create and perform their own language. In the other wor words, to give them an op opportunity to extend their learning outcomes. But uh, I also found a lot of uh, other advantages in using drama-based learning. Many of them are what we now call learner-centered. For example, in developed their, their drama pieces, learners create their own characters and uh, their own stories. Additionally, they typically do this in the group context. So they are discussing, negotiating, and using the target language with the other uh, with the uh, other members in the uh, in their group for meaningful purpose. It's a real kind of a real interaction that can happen in the language classroom. Finally, through the drama, they can learn about the language context, about its culture. They can learn how to express emotions and uh, <coughs> also pick up some kind of some uh, other kind of uh, uh, skills along the way, such as uh, translation. So, oral drama is only one part of my teaching method, which I call the performance approach. It is a centerpiece of the methodology. Using drama in the classroom makes language usage more realistic and uh, makes the interaction more authentic. How does this happen? It is because drama turns the classroom into a kind of theater, a place for learners to literally demonstrate their language skill through the meaningful scenarios. Drama activities extend from learning a uh, vocabulary through the uh, many steps <coughs> all the way to the final assessment, providing a holistic learning path. Therefore, and unlike in the many learning situations, what learners do is uh, valid. For example, their story, their performance, their cultural exploration, their group negotiations. Also, they focus on resources, resource creation, their story and their performance means that we can even generate the additional language learning resources. For example, to begin the uh, drama work, learners watch the previous year's students in order to get a concrete understanding of uh, what they are aiming at. And particularly for the less commonly taught and especially endangered languages. Uh, the opportunity to create additional text resources for the language can be very important. And I'm going to show you uh, some examples of that in the videos. Um, on the first one uh, were about uh, of a, a short at the source during a half year Hokkien course, M Hokkien MA course in 2007. And this video uh, was part of Seto Founder. And uh, the project aimed to uh, at documenting language in learning pro uh, using a drama. The video was uh, shot by Bernard Howard. And uh, this multi multimedia software was uh, made by David Nathan. And we, we, we make all the uh, sessions. So let's have a look. Uh, oh, and the later uh, videos showed in early class I roamed in Japan and uh, a summer school for Karaim, an endangered language sp spoken at uh, Lithuania. Okay. 
the first one I'm going to show you students work together work in a group using the teamwork and the language and learning is kind of social context so uh, notice that they got very uh, kind of a multi-culture group so let's have a look at this. <coughs> short time for you because we don't have a lot of time to present everything. But uh, in next video, you can see the process of collaborativity and uh, the learning, learning, the creativity for from the students. So when students are working together, uh, correct, correct them each other. Okay, next one. And uh, this is a whole can, so. Mm. so next, let's see like, some culture. Uh, in next video shows uh, how we can introduce a culture and uh, here are students uh, learning about a target culture in the content of their story and I'm there to just to answer their uh, question and uh, what they want to know. We don't go. Oh, the the Taiwanese could be uh, English people could eat. The cheese. Oh, well, they can be very traditional Taiwanese parents and we don't eat beef. Mm -hmm. oh, my parents don't buy, my mother don't ever buy any one kind of beef. What's this the same? Why not? Because cows are used okay. to work. Okay. Well, for us, we, we, like we don't we don't eat beef. So, so that's also a culture thing. Okay, and next video you can see that this is a part of a final examination and uh, they're performing for their uh, assessment. So, and uh, uh, you can see that there's a lot of experience about the biology of emotion, angry and uh, uh, surprising and criticism. So, which is... Uh, training and drama gives the context to do something like a pronunciation practice in a real context. Uh, let's have a look at this. Yeah, there's a problem here. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay, and uh, I always like to get the feedback from students, and even in the uh, on the videos. So here is the uh, feedback for for everyone, but from everyone. But uh, uh, sometimes they before the drama, they might feel very difficult or confusing or complex. But uh, actually, Mark. Uh, explained how the whole process took them to until the kind of interesting journey. 
So let's have a look. a lot of the about this uh, feedback but uh, next one is a different set of uh, drama a uh, video and uh, the first one I'm going to show you is a uh, scuba in, in 2004 and you can see here the performance of uh, anger I don't have time to go through everything, but I'll uh, just show you a short one. And also, uh, this one is a mountain culture with Japanese, Chinese, and uh, Germany, and uh, uh, someone from Korea. Uh, in we borrow the university hall, so there's a lot of uh, uh, audience there too. And next one in the, this video, you I will show you some part of the Kalayim summer school performance, and uh, they perform in the, in front of a whole village community and uh, in the hall, so. Using the, a lot of uh, the using a lot of props and the uh, costume, uh, all of that. shows how they recreate a traditional story in, in a new way, in a new style. And uh, this is very, very important for the uh, endangered languages because the, the recreation it can become a new uh, text resources for the fu future learner or for the language. So let's see if you can uh, guess what sort of traditional uh, Story is shit. <laughs> Ты на маму, да я тебя не стой ха. Стой ха, я ведь не 
this is uh, uh, Cinderella. Um, you can see they like uh, the, the theater or drama so much, so they pay a lot of uh, time and st to create everything. So, and here's a new new things for. Huh? Sorry. They call Kalain BBC uh, with news and the uh, command. <laughs> in the drama. And there's a lot of creation and resources. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a time in Hawa for this. So now I'm going to show you uh, some steps of uh, drama uh, creation. And many people think that uh, the use of drama is uh, more or less the same as the task-based learning approach. But uh, however, drama as I have used, it's uh, not only have many benefits, but also involves many detailed steps and uh, provides holistic learning uh, process. Here are some of the uh, steps involved. First, uh, firstly, the teachers and the class design the whole activity, including the group size, membership, and the length of the uh, final performance in the words or meanings, what kind of a story and dialogue content is expected, the assessment method, and the timetable. And after this has been established, the class discuss how, so, how, what story are going, and what story are going to uh, present. And, uh, and then each group start to think about story topics. The group formulate and uh, present their story online to get a feedback about the story and about the kind of language that is going to be required. They then start the script writing. After finish their script, they have to present in the class. At this point, uh, the teacher can offer advice about the things such as whether or not culture or so social aspects or are realistic. Notice that depending on the level of the students, all of this up till now might be done by their uh, mother tongue. Students then uh, make their translations and check them, <coughs> with, check them in the, their pronunciation with the teacher. The teacher gives detailed feedback. This, set, uh, this step normally takes three to five cycles of feedback between uh, the teacher and the group to get right. Once their scripts are ready, I record the whole dialogue for them. This is uh, help them to improve their pronunciation and uh, their intonation, especially for the things not, not normally encountered in the classroom, including expressing the exp emotion and the humor, sarcasm, and so on. Finally, Students prepare for the performa performance of their drama piece. They memorize and rehearse all the lines for the final performance, which is also the oral examination <coughs> for the course. We typically make the whole events even more theatrical in, by inviting a few external people of the students' friends or family and uh, we normally shoot video as a record for their assessment to give the, to the students as a memento of their work and an opportunity for further, further learning. And for less commonly taught and uh, endangered language, the video can provide uh, ne new next resources for the future learners. 
So come to my conclusion. Uh, in conclusion, I hope that I have been able to show you that uh, the value of drama, using drama in the language teaching classroom, giving you some uh, explain, example and uh, details to, of how to implement it and to explain why it works. I know that uh, the drama is used in various way or by uh, many teachers. But uh, it seems that uh, seems some kind of uh, thinking, just by adding the some, uh, some kind of a skit to the traditional method, turns them into the uh, communicative, communicative uh, classrooms. But as I have shown you, the use of drama is much more complex and effective than that. Secondly, I have shown you the drama is holistic process. It doesn't separate <coughs> components like pronunciation, vocabulary, writing, listening, translation, and the cultural aspects from assessment and from important skill like uh, teamwork. Thirdly, by create, creating and performing a story and the events that the uh, make real by the meaningful context of theater in the classroom. Learners get to uh, immerse themselves not only by the target language but also by the target culture. This may involve celebrating their own culture, in this case of uh, an endangered language, explore the target culture or learning through the eyes of others in the multicultural classroom. So overall, I hope that you agree with me The drama can be very effective for particular language teaching situations, such as less commonly taught minority and endangered languages, and more generally for rapid learning, especially for uh, real language in use. Thank you. Um, that's a really well documented and well produced project. Uh, are they available? Because I, I think they're quite 